Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. I hope you all had a great trading week last week and looking forward for the upcoming week. Before we get started, I want to thank all of you for your support, for the likes and the comments. So while I roll the intro disclaimer, you will have the time to do so. And if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. So uh, see you there guys. Welcome back guys, a quick look at the calendar. It is not a major event week next week. Uh, it's pretty uh, empty calendar on the major events, so the red ones. And uh, yeah, seems like we're gonna wait until Friday till we get some really good action we have. Uh, it's all about the Euro on Friday, the uh, ECB President Lagarde to speak, uh, French and German uh, service PMI, French and German manufacturing PMI to then get the total European flash manufacturing PMI, which is gonna be important. Uh, we know that this has been trending to the downside. Uh, also on Friday, um, core retail sales for uh, the CAD and also flash manufacturing P PMI for the US. So it's all about manufacturing next week. Keep an eye on that calendar. Um, we'll start with the Dixie as usual and we are on the daily time frame. So those of you who have been watching the um, previous uh, overviews, uh, we've been talking about what will the Dixie do when uh, it reach uh, this key level here where we uh, tested last week and that is also um, with the confluence of uh, the 50% Fibonacci retracement we were also looking at the 618 so the market did reach that 50% retracement and uh, halt uh, did halt at that level to then start reversing to the downside so if we look at the lower time frames we see that we had the dixie moving nicely to the upside on the 1 hour time frame with higher highs and higher lows trending to the upside it gave us also a um, a, a ascending triangle here which did not uh, break to the upside we've got the break to the downside instead and uh, these arrows uh, are from my um, last week uh, trading in our trading room because we I've been telling uh, the guys in the room we either have a break to the upside like this and a continuation or we look for a break downside and to the downside to then see a possible reversal so the market gave us the break to the downside in a reversal lower uh, ascending triangle in a bullish trend like this one usually uh, you will have the break to the upside but uh, not always um, and if you want to um, know everything about uh, triangle uh, trading i have a link in the description below uh, for an article i wrote about it really in uh, you have all the details you're gonna need so um, read that article and you will really know everything about triangle trading so again uh, we had the break to the downside the market did a very strong push lower here nice impulse to then start going sideways or making this uh, bearish flag before the next leg so as you see we have an impulse flag or consolidation to then get the next impulse and the market did uh, break uh, a couple of levels here uh, so uh, we're trading below uh, the monthly pivot point and uh, i'm looking actually uh, as first here for a possible continuation lower so we should be looking for a retest of this broken uh, neckline to then look for more downside so uh, the most interesting level short term on this chart is the retest of this broken level to see if uh, we're gonna get a continuation lower now when this move uh, has just started oil going sideways inside this channel so uh, yeah we've been talking about this channel for a while now and uh, it should be uh, the same going forward so keep selling high buying low until we have a break out of it uh, the possibility of a break to the upside is uh, more likely here in my opinion especially that the last low was a 
higher low here the market did not push all the way to tag these lows and we've got a little bit of a higher low so there is a possibility for a breakout so uh, if you want to trade this to the upside you need to wait for that breakout to happen to then look for a retest in continuation toward monthly or two so that is basically what we're looking for is there a possibility for oil to move lower uh, yes why not it is a resistance level it's been uh, getting rejected many times here so also there is a possibility that you start seeing uh, the bears uh, pushing from the top of this channel and your support level is down here any break below that could signal another move toward monthly pivot point I'm personally looking for the break to the upside first of all gold um, so uh, last week we said that um, the gold uh, broke previous structure which was uh, here and we were looking for possible retest and continuation the market did uh, some more um, moves to the downside so we had another break below this structure and below this level to then start uh, moving a little bit higher and we're still looking for that continuation uh, what i'm looking at gold is this area here to see if we're gonna get bearish evidence and continuation especially if the moves goes uh, slowly something like this that we see uh, this correction uh, going like that and making some channel or a bearish flag that would be uh, a perfect example example of a bearish flag if that would be the case to then look for another leg to the downside uh, at least short term i still think gold um, have some room to move lower if we look on the daily chart so we had the break we're looking for the retest and maybe another leg toward the uh, this area down here um, uh, so that is basically it euro usd pretty interesting we've been talking about this uh, move to the upside uh, when we broke the channel and the, uh, then we've got the double top the neckline got broken down here and um, yeah also i mentioned the kill zone that we had down here around the 618 uh, for a possible reversal area and as we see here uh, the market did push all the way to the 618 and uh, during this period uh, we were looking to go long in my trading room uh, I managed to get one long just above the 618 without any signal it was a limit order and uh, yes uh, the market start making a higher move another higher low and continuation so I still think there is some more room to the upside at least toward monthly pivot point to then manage the trade and start looking uh, what is the next step here because there is a risk now after breaking uh, after breaking this neckline there is a possibility that we are looking at retest and one more leg to the downside so uh, be aware of that so it is uh, worth it to watch this level in particular but if the market uh, would now after this retest gave you a strong break above this level i think we are looking for a move all the way back up to the top on uh, euro usd so those are the scenarios for this market for next week sterling also we've been watching this uh, uh, in my trading room so the first thing in the most important one was this very strong break to the upside we start getting this correction and we've been following this uh, also each and every day and uh, i've been saying that uh, if we get a break above this trend line above the 200 moving average on the one hour that we should be looking for a retest and continuation we've got the retest we got the continuation we've got another bullish flag and another push higher so on the uh, lower time frame this level got broken and uh, yeah basically we're looking for uh, continuation from here so one should be looking for uh, how the market will react on the retest here as far as this support is holding then i'm looking for a continuation move higher now since we started this whole move and um, as far as uh, the low down here uh, this area down here uh, is holding as support as far as there is no break below that we are looking for a continuation move the first level to watch is of course the broken structure but you could also see the market moving all the way down here if no break below it we should be looking for one more leg to the upside 
USD Jappy, we will start with the, on the daily time frame and uh, we've been watching this uh, monthly R1 that never got broken and the market pushed lower. I still think this market have a little bit more room to the downside toward uh, 107.90 down here. Um, but last Friday we've got a nice push higher. The market did test the 200 moving average on the 4 hour and gave us a nice push to the upside. But all in all it is testing right now. Uh, this broken structure here so I'm uh, talking about this structure that got broken so uh, the first thing we should be do is start to looking for possible bearish evidence to see if we're gonna get another leg to the downside so we had this nice um, head and shoulder formation uh, <coughs> we've got the break of that retest and continuation so now the market is retesting uh, the horizontal possible uh, uh, resistance even on the head and shoulder i have also write a very very nice article about that so um, if you um, have issues uh, trading the head and shoulders all you need to do is click the link in the description and uh, go and read that article so uh, one hour time frame we have a nice push to the upside uh, here and uh, i think a trend line here could be a good idea to draw a trend line and wait and see if you're gonna uh, have a strong break below it to then look for a flag or a retest and possible one more leg to the downside when to change that bias well i think we need to wait uh, and see if this previous high uh, gonna get broken if that is the case and we have a break about these highs then we may start looking for one more leg to the upside especially if the stock market will keep pushing to the upside as it been doing last week yeah new zealand usd also a nice bounce to the upside after the market been expecting a rate cut the rate cut didn't happen and we've got this uh, pretty strong push to the upside a retest and possible continuation now the key level is up here and the support is down here so this is our key resistance that we should be watching on this market and uh, oops and uh, down here we have uh, the support level so um, look for any retest toward this level I think could be a good level to, th to look for a possible buy and um, a continuation on this market um, there is a more room to the upside toward the top of this uh, move here so um, yeah that were what I'd be watching for the upcoming week here USD chief um, break below monthly pivot point on the daily time frame we see it clearly that we have this range that uh, the market is playing inside so we have this nice uh, support and uh, <clears throat> the uh, resistance is up here around the monthly R1 seems like we still have some room to the downside before this market tag the lows of the of the range on the four hour time frame we had a nice break this could be the retest and possibly the continuation to come so keep an eye on these lows next week if that got broken there is a possibility for the continuation so keep an eye on this one hour time frame this support level is uh, pretty interesting here if that got broken then we may see the continuation to the downside on this market USDCAD also starting uh, started the reversal at around the month the 200 moving average you know that we've been mentioning this broken structure on the daily and we were looking for a retest <coughs> and continuation already here at the yearly pivot point but the market did another ex uh, move to the upside so we got a b c d completion up here just below the 200 moving average last week we've got a couple of uh, nice reversal candle and the last one was this shooting star formation and friday was the confirmation candle that did break below and close below a couple of or three days trading actually and um, on the four hour time frame uh, we've we've had also pretty um, clear signals of uh, reversal when the market was trending to the upside inside this channel we've got the bearish divergence on the rsi we've got the break of the channel and uh, the retest and uh, we were looking now for uh, the continuation so in our trading room we were been watching this and after the break 
it all was about look for a retest and continuation and i still think there is some room more to the downside if you're holding a short keep an eye on uh, the yearly pivot point and the monthly pivot point down here that could be the first market objective on uh, <coughs> on this um, pair so if you're not in the trade look for a break retest and continuation to join Aussie USD, let's go to the daily time frame on that one as well. This is a bit tricky now, uh, since the last high was here, so we broke previous high and one was looking for maybe a continuation, but we were looking for trouble at the trend line. To then after that see the market going down again, so broke previous structure low. And um, again, after having higher highs and higher lows now we have actually a lower low and one should be a little bit cautious about what is the next move so let's go down to the four hour and see if we have some clues the four hour showing us also clear uh, strong uh, trend to the downside here on four hour and we were uh, we could be now in a possible retest of this broken structure and one more leg to the downside so be careful here be aware of that possibility to to change this um, bias here that we may keep pushing to the downside we want to start seeing a nice um, and um, strong uh, swing uh, with higher lows so i want to see the market moving a little bit more higher making a retest toward this structure and if it failed to break below and start moving to the upside then we have our higher low and the possibility of that continuation yeah but as first and since we have a break uh, below this level here this move could be something like this and continuation so please be aware of that uh, the possibility is very high of that happening next week Aussie New Zealand um, this one uh, usually to my trading room but you can have that as bonus guys <laughs> after this uh, head and shoulder scenario here we had a great break retest and boom all the way down now the move is extended and we should be looking for some retracement if this will continue to the downside uh, it need to do some uh, some retracement to the upside so you could keep an eye on this uh, retest toward yearly pivot point if uh, the market failed to move higher than that area there is a possibility for one more leg to the downside but keep in mind on the daily time frame we are we were actually looking uh, for uh, impulse consolidation and continuation now since on the daily time frame we have this uh, structure got broken then as i said there is a possibility that you see a retest and one more leg to the downside to then start watching the 200 moving average on the daily that may give you a possible trouble and support and maybe pushing the market uh, to the upside from that level so again thanks a lot guys as i said this was a bonus chart for you and um, yeah guys uh, thank you very much if you like the videos hit the like button share the video and uh, see you next week bye bye